Today I'm going to take a look at the Jeff Falcon S8000 and do a teardown. So it's a little sticker. I'm assuming that there's probably screws under here. There we go. <laughs> so that's all the stickers. Let's open it up. So here comes the case. <laughs> there we go. It's a nice PCB. So have a look, quick look at the case. Oh, let's take a closer look at this. Do we have any more screws? There's the micro USB data port for updating the firmware. So Got the ARM Giga device. I think I already copied the chip details on my review. You should be able to see the part numbers there. So ST32. Um, cool. Yeah, I've got the details of these chips in the review on timmcmahon.com.au. You can check out <laughs> um, how this performs. So I can't really comment on the quality. I'm just a hobbyist. Look like quite chunky. Let's see if we can lift this up. So this little USB port is blocking. So let's pull it out. Delatch all of these springs. So that's the ribbon cable for the display. Ooh, that's nice. So those are the two fans. I'll try not to touch stuff that might zap me. Okay. So that's the underside. There's a bunch of IRF3205 shimming. What are those? Let's look up the data sheets. Uh, bunch of capacitors. Cool. What is that? There's a UART port. Okay. Hmm. So it looks pretty good to me at first glance. Oh, might check out the display. Uh, what have we got? Unscrew. The last time I removed a display, I ended up temporarily breaking it. I had to put it back together. It fell apart into pieces. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. That was when I was looking at the uh, Vapcell S4 Plus. Oh, there's another ribbon cable under there. Cool. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so there's gonna be a touch sensor Capacitive touch sensor buttons there. Uh, they're probably glued. Are they 
going to be glued in place. I'm just going to leave that. I don't want to break the buttons. That, that's an aluminium frame, I'm guessing. So the heat's transferring to this aluminium part. And there are fans blowing. So, yeah, looks like it's got some ventilation. That's pretty cool. So that little hole there, it vents through the bottom of the case. Well, there's a little, yeah, there's a grill there and there's holes underneath. Just under here. Uh, let's plug it back in the right way, hopefully. Okay. So it's the fan in. So let's bring the sliders up. One, three, four. Okay, there we go. Yank. And it's in there. Cool. That was a little tricky. Let's put this back on. Okay. Cool, that seems pretty sturdy. Let's put these stickers back on. I might glue them if it's working. Cool, let's see if this actually still works. Now I've got 12 volt, 5 amps. You can program this to whatever you want. So let's change them to charge 2 amps. One point nine, one point nine, one point nine. Cool. So it's fast charging each of those at about two amps, roughly one point six. So you really need to use the correct power supply. Uh, Twelve volts, five amps is the input required for this thing to work properly. Cool. So that's working. Thanks for watching.